Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I thought I'd go back to some old stamp sets. Um, this paper's retiring. This stamp set... John, I can't remember if that's retiring. The vases are not retiring. So, I thought I'd use it before it disappears. Although I'll have some left over in my stash and I'll most probably use. Well, not most probably, I will use. Whether it's retiring or not. Um, so to make this card you will need a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths. Scored at 4 and 1 eighth. And burnished. You will need, I'm changing the colours by the way, I'm going to be using mint macaron. So you'll need a piece of mint macaron at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. You don't need, I need. A piece of white cardstock at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. Put that down there like that. And I'm using... This beautiful paper, it's got a sheen to it. This is from the Love What You Do um, paper series. And that will go on there. You also need a piece of uh, white at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. You'll need a piece of mint macaron. I keep saying you. You don't need to do anything. Right, this is two and three eighths by four and a half, did I see? Yeah. Two and three eighths by four and a half. So you need a piece of white at two and a quarter by four and three eighths. To go on top. Right. I also need some ribbon. Now I don't have mint macaron ribbon, but I have a ribbon that is more like old olive which matches these flowers so I'm going to be using this ribbon and you also need a scrap of mint macaron for the vases vase so stamp sets I'm using buried vases and I'm going to be using these two images I'm also going to be using birthday wishes the flowers coming out of love what you do and that's this flower here and the inside I've put time to celebrate which is not on here there is time to celebrate so that's what we're using so let's get started and we need this little bit and the inside, what did I do on the inside? Oh, I put a flower and time to celebrate. So, with my black ink, I also need a bit of scrap paper. I am going to stamp down birthday wishes first, which I put down at the bottom there. reason I put that down first is it will I'll have an idea where the vase will go right I'm just doing the plain vase and I'm stamping off because I just want a little image just so I know where to put my flowers you won't see this when we put the mint macaron vase on top so clean that And then I've got my flowers. And as you'll see by my stamp, it is warm. well used, well and truly stained. Right, what I've done is make sure the bottom flower is just above the vase. So 
so it's just above the vase and when we put the green one on it will be just like hanging over the vase oh I cleaned that and I need that again rain kit and place one just to the left right sorry looking at it to the right at the bottom and just place your flowers right um might as well put time to celebrate just there And what else have we got left to do? Finish with the black and we'll bring the mint macaron out. And with our pattern vase, ink it up. And stamp it down. There we are. I'll keep that out a minute. And with the coordinating punch, we will put this in. And we will punch that out. Oh, lock it. Get rid of the bits we don't need. And then when you place that on there. Will sit quite nicely. All right, um, need and I didn't get out some soft sky, so I don't need this. Not soft sky, um, balmy blue. Which I've got here, and this is the color in the flowers with our. Blender pen, which is here. But before we do that, we'll stick the rest of the card together to allow this to dry. Stick that up there. Right. With the pattern paper, I need to add the ribbon. So I want three strips of ribbon, roughly about that, which is five and a half inches. So I want three strips. use this one a lot but I'm not complaining that one only one pound fifty five it's quite a good ribbon right with my runner tape I'm just gonna run some tape yep. either side and I'm going to stick a piece of ribbon right in the middle. Oops. 
because that's a bit tight. And then I get the uh, another piece and I put it just above it, leaving a tiny space, about an eighth of an inch space. And with the third one, put it underneath. And again, leaving about an eighth of an inch space. And then we stick this on the white card. Just stick this on. And my grandson and his friend arrived. And we're going to stick this on mint macaron. Him and his friend had gone out again. <laughs> that was a quick visit, I must say. That's where we come to the park. Such a lovely day here. Better than being stuck indoors on the computers and gaming machines or whatever it is they have. He's got a PlayStation, I think it's called. Right. That's that done. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Right, I'll put that to one side. And bring in our stamping again. So, with our balmy blue, I've not done it with blue. I go by the thing, blue and green should never be seen unless there's a colour in between. Ooh. But it look nice on there. And that is definitely, I don't know if that's blue or mint macaron. I think I'll do mint macaron. I don't like the idea of blue. So, with our blender pen, bring that paper back, make sure this is no other colour. Yeah. What I'm going to do is do a thick, not thick, a dark at the bottom of each flower right and what I'm going to do now is just draw it up and just colour in the rest of the petals. Trying to keep it dark at the bottom. Some 
cover. Some more dark colour at the bottom. Then on this one. And there we have our coloured flower. So easy to do. You just draw up the colour from the base with your blender pen. And we do the same on this one. So we put a dark bit on the bottom. And then you just draw up the colour and colour in the rest of the flower. Make sure they're dark at the bottom again. And we have it. Lid, put it away, and now I can put this on the inside. this to its mat and then we want to put that on yeah dimensionals Sir. 
so it backens off. And put this to the left of the card. That's right. Yeah. And then this. We'll place on there. Right, all we have to do now is put some gems on. Uh, I did get the wrong ones out because it's easier for this one. On here I put seven, five and three. So what I did was, got my scissors. Counted out seven gems. I'll cut them. And Next one I want to do five. And put them there. And the last lot three. Which I put Yeah, that's all the gems I did. That's all the gems I need. So there you have it. Today's card. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.